Hey guys, Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I am gonna to try to answer your question if you should upgrade to DSM 7.0. So let's get started. Now, as of June 29, 2021, the official release of DSM 7.0 is out. And yes, you can upgrade your Synology all the way from 21 to 13. So if it's the first two digits, which is like 15, 10, or something like that the last two digit is the year and that could tell you it will support from 21 all the way up to 2013 so if you got an older synology unit just check the year and you should be able to know if you could upgrade it now it's been a while since they last did an upgrade like a major upgrade so i think version 6.0 is at least four or five years old and they finally came out like i said with seven this is what you need to know before you decide to upgrade your own synology now first off uh, when I was trying to upgrade this, which is the 1520 plus, uh, I didn't have the availability of just upgrading from 6.2 all the way to 7. I had to manually update. So you can grab the ISO and I'll leave the link down in the description below to where you could download it. So it does require a manual update. Uh, for this box, it took me about 20 minutes to upgrade. And luckily for me, I actually have two Synologies. I have a 1019 plus and also a 1520 plus. So I was able to compare them side to side. Now, I haven't upgraded my main Synology yet, so I will let you know why in a little bit. But first, as soon as you finish installing the newest upgrade, you're gonna notice that the login screen is a little bit different, which is better, it looks better. It feels better, so it's more fluid. And popping right into the desktop, you're also gonna notice a lot of things look different. The wallpaper is different, the feel of it is different, and it's much more responsive. I, I was able to, it feels much more responsive compared to the DSM 6.2. So if you are the type of person to actually use your Synology desktop a lot, you might enjoy the new responsiveness. I just go in from time to time just to check on stuff. So I, I do use it, but I don't use the desktop enough. Now they also got rid of ext3 support so if you are still running on an old file system which is ext3 you're going to have a nightmare just trying to upgrade it to betterfs or btrfs that's the newest system that they're using currently my systems are betterfs already so i didn't have to do much of a change if i need to migrate all my data to here but if you have an ext3 uh, try to find a way to offload it to something else before you upgrade or you're going to have a nightmare just trying to upgrade the data it, depending on the size of your data it could take anywhere upwards from six hours to a day, even, even longer, depending on how much data. Now, one that got me the most, there's no more USB dongle support yet, okay? What I mean by that is that uh, the USB support that is in the front and also in the back, uh, when you plug it in, it will only support mass storage devices. If you have a USB Ethernet or USB Wi-Fi or an SDR or something that you plug into Synology to use that is a dongle, it will no longer have support for that. That's because they need newer drivers for this new operating system. Uh, it will be coming soon as what I read is that these manufacturers has to, you know, talk with Synology and figure out what drivers they need just to get it working. So if you are required to use dongles on your system, I would urge you not to upgrade yet because it or check if there's available drivers for your little dongle that you're going to be using. Another huge thing about this is that third party apps. So as of right now, there is only a limited support of third party apps. And if you're the type to use a lot of third party apps, you're going to run into issues if they're going to be supported in the new DSM 7. And the thing is, it's not easy to downgrade from 7 to 6. I've never tried it yet, but that's what I read to downgrade from 7 to 6 is it's pretty hard. So if you have a lot of third party applications that you are using, Using, I would try to urge you to not upgrade yet because you're going to run into issue with the new one. And the main reason behind that is that the new Synology DSM-7 removes support for root. Applications like Plex and stuff like that, uh, yes, Plex is a third-party app, won't have access to that unless they fix it. Fortunately for Plex, they did fix it, so you could use Plex on the newer DSM-7. But again, a lot of applications will not be supported yet. And I'll leave a link down in the description below for a list of applications that are supported, not supported, stuff like that. And it's something you can look up to see if you're gonna be using it. And that's not the complete list. It's just a list that uh, Synology KB has, and that's what I'm going by. So those are the major changes for the Synology, and I uh, hope that helps you make a decision between if you wanna change it or not. Like I said, the third-party support and the USB dongle support, those are two main factors of someone not switching over to the SM7. And if that affects you, yeah, do not upgrade. And again, that's why I didn't upgrade mine yet because of third-party support. And I'm able to test it on the newer box, but again, I don't have a complete list of the third-party applications 
that DSM will support or not. But if you able to look up the application that you are using, does it require root? If it does, it probably doesn't support it on the new DSM. I've only played with the official version for about four to five days. Uh, this review might change in the future after I use it for a month, but I could tell you the new operating system is definitely much more responsive, but being responsive doesn't mean you get faster file transfer. The file transfer still stayed the same. I haven't noticed any different on that, but functionality wise, it's, it's limited to what you need to use. If you're using third party a lot, then no, I wouldn't upgrade If, if you're using the Synology NAS for normal NAS stuff that you, you don't require third party, then yes, you will find a huge difference in it. That is it for me, guys. That's what I've noticed, and that's only been about four or five days of playing around with the new DSM. Anyway, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.